Okay, here we are, Pin Chasers East Pasco again tonight. Tonight, we're trying now Old Roy's front nine, and if I need it, Old Roy's late shift cleaners. Now we're going to be using a bowlingball.com microfiber pad to use these cleaners tonight. I hope it does a good job. We're having position around tonight, so I'm going to need to shoot some high scores. Now I'm expecting that ball to do some hooking. Ball Cleaner Showdown, Video 4. Old Roy's Front Nine and Late Shift Ball Cleaners. In this showdown, I'll be trying out Old Roy's Front Nine and Late Shift Ball Cleaners. I want to thank the makers of Old Roy's for contacting me on BowlingBallExchange.com and providing me with uh, samples of their Front Nine and Late Shift Cleaners to try out. Old Roy's Front Nine is a general purpose ball cleaner for when the lanes are really oily uh, and your balls getting dirty, a lot of belt marks and you want uh, maximum cleaning to restore the tackiness of your ball so it has the most grip on the lanes. And Old Roy's Late Shift is a more special purpose ball cleaner for use when the lanes are breaking down or you're on drier conditions. Uh, besides cleaning the ball it will leave the surface of the ball just a little less tacky so you get a little smoother reaction going down the lane. Uh, both of these cleaners are USB-C approved for any time use. I'll be applying these cleaners with a BowlingBall.com's Monster Microfiber Pad Bowling Applicator. This pad is a small hand sized microfiber covered sponge which can be used to apply various cleaning and polishing products to your ball. The sponge in there allows you to when you're cleaning to uh, load it up with some cleaning product that way you don't have to go back and replenish it as often if you're cleaning your ball every frame or however often you're using it. Uh, special thanks goes to BowlingBall.com for providing me this sample to uh, try out in my uh, cleaner tests. Okay, I've been using Old Roy's cleaners for about a month now. What you see here is a good representation of the amount of uh, grime and oil removed by Old Roy's front nine bowl cleaner through the night. I've used it several ways like cleaning after every shot or just clean the ball after each game or just wait until the end of the night to clean the ball like a lot of people would. Anyway I used it, it performed well at removing oil and grime from the surface of the ball and it left the ball with a good tacky feeling on it. It also did well at removing uh, belt marks that showed up on the ball also, uh, the BowlingBall.com microfiber pad I used to apply it with uh, worked well, and with it did well with other cleaners I tried it with. It removed uh, stuff off the surface of the ball easily. Uh, belt marks with use, when used with a cleaner wiped right off. Uh, the pad was easy to clean too. Once it got dirty, I uh, just tossed it in the washer and gave it a wash, and it was ready to go again. As for Old Roy's Late Shift Cleaner, it did as advertised. It cleaned the ball, but it did leave the surface a little less tacky, which, uh, when the lanes dried out or, or the condition was a lot drier, uh, it helped out. The ball wasn't quite as sharp as it was. It smoothed out the reaction of it. Uh, got a little bit more length, uh, which allowed me to uh, play the line a little bit longer. So it, it did as advertised. No complaints there. All right. Here we are. It's the end of the night. We bowled three full games tonight and I cleaned every frame using 
Old Roy's Front 9. Actually, I cleaned it for two and a half games using Old Roy's Front 9. Uh, at, and at that point, I switched over and I used, uh, tried out some uh, light shift ball cleaner there. But at the end of the night, I finished off, I cleaned it one last time using Front 9. I was using a bowlingball.com microfiber pad, as you can see here. Got pretty dirty. Started out looking like that. Now it looks like this. Didn't do too bad, a the pad didn't do too bad a job. It's a little small in the hand though, but it did all right. Now we're going to see if we have any uh, residual residue, grime, what, what have you on there. Got to use some more of that purple stuff here on the white paper towel. Okay, now let's start wiping down. what we got. Well, Old Roy's did a pretty good job. I don't particularly see much left on here. Might be just a little bit right there. I'm not sure. I will have to wait till my towel dries out. I want to let it dry out. Then I'll take a picture of it there. But from the looks of it, Old Roy did a pretty good job cleaning the ball there. Didn't leave any residue. Uh, left a few little oil lines in the ball. That to me is usually expected. There's only about two, three cleaners that would have took those out. And only one of those you could use uh, while bowling. And like I said, that's about all. I would, I'll put up a better picture of this so we can see it up close how, how well it did. Like I said, it looks like it got everything off. Okay, uh, here's the towel from the residue test that's all dried out. Uh, going by this, uh, Old Roy's did a pretty good job. You can see just a couple little dark spots on there. I believe most of that came from around my finger holes. Uh, usually when I'm wiping down the ball right around the holes there, I don't wipe quite as good because I try not to get any cleaner down in the holes and stuff like that. I'd have to go in and clean out. So I probably picked up some from uh, around the edges and everything there. But on the whole, Old Royce did a pretty good job cleaning the ball off and leaving the surface nice and tacky. Uh, so it did a good job. Not much else I can say about that now. Okay. Well, we, we talk about tack a lot. We're going to see how Old Roy does about making the ball tacky. Okay. I got a little tack right there right now. Ball's pretty clean. Not too tacky. Now let's spray it down with some old Roy's and see what happens.
Sounds a little bit better tacky right there now, don't it? More than we had. So I guess the old Roy does make the ball tacky. Cleaner conclusions. Old Roy's front nine cleaner is a good general purpose ball cleaner. It cleans the ball surface well, removing all oil and other surface grime such as belt marks, leaving it with a clean tacky feeling. Uh, the cleaner has a slight vinegar smell, which leads me to believe it has acetic acid or something similar as one of its main ingredients. So I'm uh, putting it in line with uh, the citrus-based cleaners. But it has a somewhat stronger cleaning action than most of those do. Old Roy's Late Shift Cleaner is a good special purpose cleaner. While it cleans the ball surface, it also reduces the surface tackiness uh, as advertised. So depending on the conditions and the bowler style, it does even out the reaction somewhat. And you can see a little extra length when the lanes are uh, dry or very low volumes of oil. It kind of reminds me somewhat of Kegel Revive, which I felt kind of uh, took some of the tackiness off the ball and let the ball uh, go a little bit longer, even though they did not advertise it as that being one of the properties of it. Uh, the 8 ounce spray bottles Old Roy's come in are really good spray bottles. In fact, uh, they're the same bottle the Kegel Revive came in, as far as I can see. So when you empty out one, don't throw it away. They're really good to use over with uh, other spray products that you might need a spray bottle for. Uh, the price point on Old Roy's cleaners is good. On the website, you can order a bottle of your choice for... Uh, at last viewing, uh, $9.50 a piece plus tax and shipping, which that's pretty good for an 8 ounce bottle of cleaner. Oh, and the bowlingball.com monster microfiber pad bowling applicator, that's a name, is, uh, worked out pretty good. It is a good little cleaning pad. The only real con I see to it is its small size which makes it kind of hard to hold in your hand when you're using it. It could have been just a little bit bigger, I think. Uh, the base price on them is kind of high, but they have different deals on them, combos, etc. It's just a matter of what they have at the time when you go to buy them, which gets the price down on them some. And, but they're a good little pad for either cleaning or applying uh, polishes or other products like that. So, other than, that, like I said, the size, no real cons on it. Uh, that's about all I have to say. Old Rice is a, a real good cleaner. I don't really see anything wrong with it. Good bottle size, price points good on it. Does clean the ball well. Doesn't have a particularly bad smell to it. I don't see where you could go wrong uh, using it. And that's all for uh, ball clean this ball cleaner showdown. Until next time, bye.